What's going on guys? Andrew Pillick Hockey here back again with another video. Sorry for not covering this right when it happened. I was actually at my job. I was at work. Sheldon Keefe has been fired by the Maple Leafs and uh, we're going to get into literally everything in this video. I have a lot to say so please sound off in the comments but also please for the love of God listen to everything I have to say before you make an opinion. I get some crazy comments 30 seconds into uploading it. Please just listen to me and I'll listen to you. Trust me, I read all the comments. So if you're new here, like this video and subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe, liking the video actually does help me quite a lot. So if you do enjoy it and you don't want to subscribe, like the video, I would really appreciate it. So um, I'm going to go on a bit of a rant in this video. I feel like there's a lot that I have to say. There's a lot of things that I think a lot of people will probably agree with. There's going to be some things that people disagree with, but we kind of saw the writing on the wall. Sheldon Keefe being fired by the Maple Leafs. And if we're going to do a brief history on him, let's just show quickly the fact that he put up a 212, 97, and 40 record over five campaigns in Toronto, but 16 and 21 in the postseason, which is obviously an important stat. And the most important one is a one and five series mark. Now, there's also like a ridiculous stat where like Sheldon Keefe has like the highest winning percentage in NHL history for like under 300 game or like 300 game minimum or something like that so he won a lot of games just not in the playoffs and there's pros and cons to this right because I do believe that this needed to happen and I and I like Sheldon Keefe he's he seems like a really nice guy but it's a business and if anybody saw the video that he posted today talking about how he was grateful and he was thanking Leaf fans and thanking the organization I just want to do one of these I want to at least give him a round of applause because whether or not you agree with the job he did, this is class. Like Sheldon Keefe didn't have to come on Twitter and make a video thanking everybody after being fired. Okay. He got to live a dream. He won a Calder Cup trophy with the AHL Marlies, the Toronto Marlies. And then he got a chance to win a ton of games with the Maple Leafs and he won a playoff series. He just didn't get it done. And he took full responsibility and accountability. And that's where I find problems because it's rinse and repeat for the Maple Leafs in terms of all they do is, is they lose, they fire a GM, they fire a coach, then they fire a GM, then they fire the coach, they fire the GM, fire the coach. It is time for major change. If the Maple Leafs just fire Sheldon Keefe and don't move on from some of their big name players, and I'm talking Marner, I'm talking Tavares, they have to do it. Like you can't just keep firing the coach and expect different results because these guys are not winning hockey games. It's not just coaching. They, the, the Leafs had a couple really amazing games in this series where they played significantly better than we've seen them play as a whole in such a long time and there's a lot of series where Sheldon Keefe has been out coached but there's a lot of series where I see okay like this guy is a really good coach and again I'm gonna repeat it Sheldon Keefe needed to get fired the time was up but I don't agree with the fact that and I'm hoping because it's still way too early to make this assumption I'm just hoping that the Maple Leafs don't come out at this press conference on Friday or depending on when you're watching this video and saying oh well we fired the coach and we're going to give the core four one more chance. We're right there. You're not right there. You're not. You keep losing in the first round. You're not right there. You're not this close. You're far and away. You can't even see the end. You're not winning series. Firing the coach does not give them more of a leash. Firing the coach, coach tightens it or cuts the chain loose and saying, get out of here. The Maple Leafs need to move on. And make some big moves here. I love Mitch Marner. I love John Tavares. I love Austin Matthews. I love William Nylander. I love Sheldon Keefe. I love Brendan Shanahan. The list goes on and on. But you need to make moves. Sheldon Keefe, I hope he gets another job whenever he wants to. Because he seems like a classy guy. And I'm wishing him the absolute best. But I don't want to see the Leafs blame a coach and think... The offseason is saved. This team is going to be amazing. They do this all the time. It's time to blame the players, okay? And again, big credit to Sheldon Keefe um, for taking this team out of the Babcock era. Like, people forget that team was terrible. 
Uh, they started off really poorly. You know, Sheldon Keefe coached them through the COVID period of time. Like, there, there's a couple seasons there where, like, he didn't actually coach a full season because they were cut short. Uh, so he got less time. But again, you lose in the playoffs, you're going to lose your job. But the players need to lose their jobs as a Maple Leaf as well. They're playing for that logo on the front just as much as anybody else. It's not about the name on the back. They lost for the Maple Leafs. And now that the coach is fired, they're more than likely going to bring in Barube or hell, the, the crazy rumors that maybe they'll wait to see if Carolina gets knocked out and ask about Rod Brindamore, which would be insane, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think it's going to be Barube. But, like, you, you just you can't keep blaming the coach. And again, I'm going to repeat it because I already see the comments. Well, Sheldon Keefe was getting out coach. I agree with you. But you can't just do that. You have to do more. And I hope they do. If it was up to me, Shanahan's ass would have been out the door as well. Because Brendan Shanahan and the Shanna plan didn't work. And for for people that don't watch Steve Dangle, which I'm sure you do, or Chris Johnson, like these guys are much more popular than I am. They were talking about the fact that Brendan Shanahan has vetoed trades that Mitch Marner or any of these guys were going to get traded before. He tried to trade them. And Shanahan said no on multiple occasions. Dubas tried to get Marc-Andre Fleury and Brandon Hagel. Shanahan said no. They've tried to move on from people that he tried to fire Babcock earlier. Shanahan said no. So if Shanahan's going to keep putting his hands in here and not making good decisions, then they need to get rid of him too. So uh, if, if they're giving him one more year, fine. But don't just get rid of the coach and expect that this team is going to be amazing now. You need to make big changes. And again, much respect to Sheldon Keefe. Um, he didn't get it done. And he took full accountability. Uh, again, I'm I'm totally rooting for this guy. I really am. I want him to get another job in the NHL. But you have to understand that this is a business. And while it sucks to see a good man get let go of his job, this needed to happen. And I totally agree with the decision. It's just, I'm going to repeat it until I'm blue in the face. Get rid of the crap. This team doesn't care about winning until they prove me otherwise. They don't. They they don't care if they have an early vacation. And, you know, people watch it and say, how would you know? Well, they keep losing. So let's get rid of the people that don't want to win and bring in guys that do want to win. So let's make a big move here, Brad. You need to trade at least one of the core four, if not two. And we know which two they are. And again, no disrespect to those guys. Unbelievable players. Unbelievable. But you need to make more moves than just firing a damn head coach. Because this is what they do. Rinse and repeat. Welcome to Leafs Nation. You fire the GM. You fire the coach. You fire the GM, you fire the coach. Oh, the savior's here. You fire the GM, you fire the coach. Oh, he's going to take us to the promised land. No. How about we start making some moves in the forward group? Let's do it. They need to do something here. So, Brad, you're on the clock. Brad Trey Living, you're on the clock, man. You got to make something happen here. So, sound off in the comments again. Respect to Sheldon Keefe. I hope he gets another job, uh, and he will. Like, He's 100% going to get another job. Uh, once a new coach is announced, we will be making a video on that. So if you're new here, like, subscribe, join the squad. Love to have you guys here again. Liking the video does help quite a bit. So please do so. I love and appreciate you guys as always. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.